My name is Aaron Massey from MrFixItDIY.com and today I'm here to share with you my five DIY ways to make your home more energy efficient. Summertime means cranking that air conditioning in the house to cool it down, which can really impact your home's energy consumption. So today I'm here to share a few things that you can do around your home to help you make your home more energy efficient and less impactful on the environment. Number one is to replace indoor and outdoor bulbs with LEDs. Replacing your light bulbs is one of the simplest and most cost-effective ways to make your home more energy efficient. Typical CFL or older incandescent bulbs use anywhere from 40 to 100 watts a piece, and the newer LED equivalents typically range from 10 to 20 watts for the same amount of light output. They're a little more expensive on the front end, but their bulb life is exponentially longer and the cost savings on your energy bill adds up quickly. Many people may think to replace their interior bulbs, but make sure you also consider replacing exterior landscape bulbs and motion lights. It's not uncommon for exterior bulbs to be in the 150 watt range, so replacing them can be a significant savings over time. Number two is to inspect your attic insulation and replace it if necessary. Most homeowners don't like working in their attic, and I don't blame you, especially in the summer months, but it's a vital part of keeping your home as efficient as possible. Not only does it help keep the heat in during the winter, but it also helps keep the heat of your roof from radiating down into your living space in the summer. Go up into your attic and make sure that you have insulation coating the entirety of the living space. It may either be blown in or in bat form or a combination of the two. If your insulation is very sporadic, very thin, or has been infested with critters, consider having your insulation replaced or adding additional insulation on top. Number three is to update your old thermostat to a new smart thermostat. Installing a smart thermostat is a simple way to make sure that you're being as efficient as possible with your energy usage. You can easily set a schedule through your phone to automatically adjust the temperature when you're not home, and you can even monitor your usage over time and compare your home to other homes in your area to see how efficient your schedule and home actually are. If you're looking to update your HVAC system or thermostat, this video is sponsored by Train. Train is a leading manufacturer of heating and air conditioning units for your home, and this Train XL824 thermostat allows you to monitor and control your home's temperature and schedule right from your phone or tablet, and allows you to monitor multiple zones from a single thermostat. You can also program other smart home devices off of it and use the thermostat as a smart home hub, allowing you to control a bunch of different features of your home from a single device. Beyond that, the device can also connect to the Nexia network, which allows you to get real-time weather updates and forecasts from your area. Number four is to clean your HVAC condenser and change your air filters. One of the easiest ways to make sure your HVAC system is functioning properly and not overworking is to clean the outside condenser and change the air filters inside. To clean your condenser, first make sure that the power is shut off to the unit by turning off the power at the disconnect near the unit. Second, use a shop vac to vacuum any loose material or debris that may be inhibiting the cooling coils from working properly. Next, use a foaming condenser cleaning product to spray all over the condenser and let it soak in for about 10 minutes. Then just use a hose to spray off the foam and carry away any dirt and debris that has built up. After that, you're good to turn the power back on at the disconnect. You should do this about once a year to make sure your condenser is clean and working properly. Also, while you're at it, make sure that there are no plants or obstructions within about 12 inches all around the unit that make it hard for the unit to breathe properly. If there are, make sure to trim all those back. Changing your interior filter is really simple. Just find your air intake for your unit and replace it with the proper size filter. You can find the size you need written right on the side of the previous filter that you're replacing. I recommend you do this around every three to six months. And number five is to replace old single pane windows with new Energy Star rated options. Adding replacement windows or updating windows around your home during a remodel project is a great way to improve the overall energy efficiency of your home. Old single pane windows allow the heat of the sun's rays to radiate into the home, which can significantly raise the interior temperature, which means your AC system needs to work harder to cool the home. New double paned windows have an insulating gas between the panes, which allows for less heat energy to transfer into the home and thus are much more energy efficient. Talk to a local window expert who can help you make the decision on what types of windows are right for your home. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it helps you get your home's energy consumption under control. Not only will it help save you some money, but it'll also lessen your environmental impact. If you are considering making some energy efficient improvements to your home, I recommend looking at your local utility company's website. Site. Oftentimes you can find rebates for energy efficient upgrades 
to your home that can help offset those initial costs. I'd like to thank the train team for sending over the thermostat I installed in this video and for making this video possible. If you'd like some more information on additional energy efficient upgrades you can do around your home, make sure you guys check out Train's website at the link down below. Thank you guys for watching and if it's your first time visiting the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of the new content I put out. And as always, I encourage you to leave me a comment down below and let me know what types of energy improvements you're trying to make around your home. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.